Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, and I am so glad to be with you today. And guess what? We have returned. Uh, we are in our we are, we are in our home, and uh, it's good to be able to not only be in your own house, but uh, sleeping in your own bed, and and uh, everything is so familiar. Even our dog loves to be back home. But we have returned. Praise the Lord, and uh, it is good to be back. Well, you know, with that thought of returning, you know, you know, the Lord, he never leaves us nor forsakes us, does he? He is always there. And I tell you, praise the Lord for that. that we have a God that is faithful and a God that, that uh, you know, never leaves us. And, I, and I'm so very thankful for that. But do you know, uh, even though we went from this location and went to another location, God was always with us. Uh, and uh, I'm so very thankful for that. But you know, there are times though, even though the Lord doesn't forsake us and even the Lord doesn't leave us, uh, yet we can leave the Lord. We can get away from God. And spiritually speaking, we can, we can uh, move in a direction that he doesn't want us to go. We can be disobedient and forsake God's laws and forsake uh, his way and go our own way. We can do that. But can I tell you some good news? For those of us that do, we can return back to him. You know, the Bible says it like this in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse number seven. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. You know, today I want to encourage you and want to challenge you that, you know, even though you may have left the Lord, even though you may have gone your own way, you know better. But can I tell you, you can return. You can return. Return back to the Lord. If you're willing to forsake the direction that you're going, uh, it has led you away and you realize it now. Can I tell you, according to what the Bible says, he will, he will forgive you. He will uh, receive you back. You see, God loves you. And there is a way to return back. I'm so very thankful for that. You know, without a doubt, it is always better to be faithful to God and to stay with him. Folks, there isn't no one better. There isn't another way better. Oh my goodness, God is always good. And his way is perfect. Let us be faithful to him. Let's don't ever leave the Lord, but let's stay with him. And without a doubt, truly, you will be amazed as you follow the Lord. But if we ever leave, if you leave, if you are somehow convinced, can I tell you, there's a way back. There is a way back. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm so very thankful that Susan and I are back home. We're glad to be back home. But you know what? When it came to our relationship with the Lord, we never left him. He was always with us. May you and I rejoice in God's presence, truly always in our lives. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your blessings and thank you, Lord, for always being there. And Lord, I thank you for the grace of God in our lives, that, Lord, you kept us close. And, Lord, thank you. And I do pray for maybe someone today that's listening to this, that, Lord, has gotten away from you. Lord, help them to return back to you. Lord, may they realize that they are not in a good place and that, Lord, you're there and you're waiting for them. May your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And let's continue to walk with the Lord. May the Lord bless you today.